If you saw the first video of this abandoned house that my buddy Jeff Burdick and I have purchased and are remodeling, whoo, look at the butte. Look at the ugh, nastiness, everything you think of. Uh, the antenna, the electrical line, the windows, the doors. And after four months, take a look now. Yeah, we have been pretty darn busy and got a lot of work done. The biggest thing, obviously, is that uh, addition that's been added to the house. Um, you look on the left side, that is actually the bathroom, the master bathroom. Yes, we put a master bedroom and bathroom up there. That left side is it's all one bathroom. It's the 13 and a half by 6 foot wide. Uh, so you got the two, of, or shall I say the right side there of the second floor, that's the master bedroom. We've got new windows, new doors. Anyway, let's start off with that master room. Let's come in here and take a look at what it is upstairs. What it did look like coming upstairs to the second floor to what it looks like now. So, and the old ugliness beforehand and the dead end to that window and the horrible outdoors, outside I should say, and roof. And now coming upstairs, uh, there's been a clamp here. And there's the entrance to the new door. We've obviously gutted everything. This house has been completely gutted all around the place uh, obviously we haven't had a new drywall yet that's about two weeks away but here's where we stand at and instead of that ugly window leading with an overview of a horrific looking roof well here's going to be a, a door we are going to lift this up a little bit higher it's going to be a little bit higher for people like me i'm six foot that's a little short for me so we're going to lift that up a couple inches maybe four inches and here we are into this brand new master bedroom it's so big I gotta back up so you get a good view here. So, there's where I just walked in at. And then you can see the bathroom door. And then, here it is. And you get a better view of it right here than you would if I went inside there. But to the right side, you can see that's where the toilet's gonna be. Put a little wall there, about three foot long. Wire, wiring has obviously begun as well. New house, every single thing in this house is new. Uh, and so we're gonna put a double vanity right here on the wall, face right next to us. That window's obviously new. It's all that outside. The shower's going to go there. It's a stand-up shower. And let me back up this direction here. Look to the other side. And I know we got stuff in the way because this is a work of progress here. We're not done. That's going to be a nice size, big walk-in closet. Here's the rest of the bedroom. Plenty of space for cabinets. I'm sorry, not cabinets. How about dressers? Dressers and a nice big door going in here. Uh, like I said, we're about two weeks out from drywall coming in. And being done so far i have i and jeff and at times a couple of buddies have done every bit of the work but i am going to hire out the drywall work as you exit you can kind of see i hope you can a little awkward going out through here and this is a little awkward uh because we got a door frame there for a standard size door but that board right here that's the ceiling to the older to the uh, other section here and we're gonna raise that up we're not gonna be able to raise it up uh, probably by more than four inches five of them maybe five anyhow uh that'll help but it will be a, a little unusual but we decided that adding this addition was worth the investment it's probably about 10 grand in to do it and i think it's gonna we, we now can boast three full bedrooms our master bedroom with a attached well should i say a walk-in closet but also a, a full-size bathroom a big bathroom and downstairs we got two bedrooms and two baths a little dark in here i know that window's new all the windows here are new definitely see uh you've got a little bit of house cleaning to do yet as well going down the stairs we're going to replace these stairs uh i can't really I haven't really decided to do that before or after the drywall so here is the front yard and uh, Talk about a different look than what it was last time. The roof, we're going to re-shingle it, re-everything. I'm stripping down this porch. We're going to make a new deck coming around. We're going to get rid of this door. The deck's going to wrap around. At least that's the plan for now. Goodness sakes, I mean, this place looks totally different. You'll notice that this massive pine tree was once there that is no longer there. And it's gone. It actually happened the first week we had this. It's about $6,000 we're having tree removal. There's another tree to the left there that is gone. Say, is there it? It was gone. That dumpster, take a look at the old 
memories of when we first got it. We filled a dumpster up, that's a 30 yarder, completely full of their material stuff that had been left behind. And then about 30 other uh, trash bags that we filled up that were deposited in a different dumpster elsewhere. Yeah, that porch deck, obviously we tore it apart, that concrete porch deck. And what we're gonna do, see those beams there holding up the old porch deck. Yeah, we got some big solid six by six beams we're gonna replace those with and put a new porch deck that's gonna wrap around where that ladder is it used to be used to be a door we got rid of that because the house had four doors really three doors going in and out and then a fourth one in there between the mudroom and the kitchen so we were just illuminating the door and putting the porch deck here you see the siding I, I personally like the color of the siding maybe you do maybe you don't let me know below and uh we're almost done with the siding as you can see that spot there is just definitely got to get finished but beyond that we're pretty much done besides some fascia and soffit here in front of the porch which leads me next to the garage see i ripped off the siding old siding of that garage thank goodness it was hideous the garage door is actually brand spanking new it's been installed started the siding on the left side here you'll see that right away but first you might notice the trees and the jungle that was back here all gone <laughs> got some trees we're gonna get rid of but what i want to get to is look at the roof of the garage <laughs> replace it with a new jungle of metal right a bunch of aluminum and steel on the right side we'll recycle that and get a few bucks back for it i don't think i'm cheap but i am a penny pincher and if i can get 150 bucks by recycling some metal doggone this is flipping flipping a house which is about all about maximizing your profits so yes i'm going to do that uh between everything we've uh recycled and sold i say sold some of the product items that we found were worthy of sell, trying to sell on facebook marketplace or even ebay we're about a thousand dollars eleven hundred bucks up on that already but it's all said and done maybe it will be about fifteen hundred there's our garage not nah, about 99.9 .9 percent done siding this side but do you recall the state of the roof when we first got it first thing we did was side excuse me uh, re-roof this garage so we could store material inside and i'm sorry to tell you that i did not get in the first video of the inside views of the garage and this is what it looks like now so it's, it's another disaster of course but it's an organized disaster because we've cleaned it all out we actually power washed the floor and everything and now we just got a lot of material in here this was definitely an ugly scene as well when we first got it and we uh discovered what we were doing replacing some electric because if you recall as well there's an electric line going from up there at the top of the house to electrical line over there well we trenched that electrical line so now it's completely out of the way underground and we discovered the sewer pipe and that was cracked and broke too so that's getting fixed thus the big hole right here I'll tell you something about that roof andy does not like being on tall roofs we want to get rid of we're going to get rid of these basement windows here those have got to be replaced as well but coming in through the back door of the mud room uh-huh here's how it was or no here's what it is now here's what it was oh inside here's the mud room yeah so this is the kind of place we end up getting and here we are today uh, okay all right so walk in the mud room, lots of tools and stuff lying around. But what we did, oh yeah, oh yeah. And hopefully you can get it all here in the camera here. We we got rid of this door that was here. We've got a big wide area coming in and out. We're essentially connecting the mud room and the kitchen, trying to make it as one because the kitchen is small. Things like cabinets and so forth. Or, or there's not any room in that kitchen for it anyway so what we're going to do is put cabinets and uh cabinets and pantries and whatever well i'll call it kitchen stuff um uh, countertops and so on in here as well as here but combine the two and i think we'll suddenly have enough space we'll have sufficient space for the kitchen you know we're looking at the kitchen here obviously new window um but we'll have over there our probably have our oven i take it back our oven's going to be somewhere in here. We're going to have kitchen sink here. Refrigerator's going to be there. Microwave's going to be above the stove. Our oven. I have cabinets over here. We'll see. I haven't not purchased those yet. 
entrance into the basement here, but this is a big difference here. This beam spanning over 16 foot long has replaced what was here, that breakfast bar. If you will, I think it's what you want to call it, it's a breakfast bar. So that's all gone, and as well as are all the walls. We expanded the bathroom. The old bathroom was well, not a beauty at all. That's really nice. There's a toilet seat, and uh, are you grossed out like me? Well, got rid of it. Actually found some rot on the subfloor, so got rid of the subfloor. So that's brand new floor. So this bathroom's about two foot wider. We're gonna fit another, a full bathtub, pantry, pantry, what I'm saying. How about a vanity and toilet in there? You can see the plumbing has already begun. Thank to my man, Justin Wilton, for getting that going. And here's one bedroom. We've got to add a closet yet. We're gonna put a closet over here. Uh, I have a decent sized bedroom, especially for the kids. This is even a bigger bedroom right here which I'm pr pretty excited about. We're going to add a closet right here for the kids. Two windows. We're going to have lights on, in the, on the ceiling in every room, which was brand new. We did not have that before in any of the rooms at all. So those are going up every which direction. Every which direction. All throughout the house. Got to get a big light in here. So here's our view. Big window that was been, has been replaced. Good news. Former owners were Notre Dame fans. And here's our view from here. Basement was quite a disaster when we showed up. They left so much stuff behind. Do they call these hoarders? I don't know if it's hoarders or if it's just uh, people who were not very clean with their stuff. So much junk, holy moly. But upon further inspection after the video, there are some structural problems with the basement. Not foundation, just structural. The foundation's fine. These steps are bad. We're going to replace the steps all together. But yeah, there were some problems with, some, with the basement structure. Some of the joists were cracked and had to be sistered. Right here, this was not a healthy deal right here along the steps. They had cut down these joists and, and it was not adequate. Um, so we replaced that with a triple there of two by eights. That's probably gonna hold uh, a cement truck. It's so strong now. This beam going across was in sh terrible shape and I'm confident we have salvaged it. Got it held up, it's, it's level now. It was not level before. It's as solid as a rock. And look through here, we found all sorts of, the, this part of the, the ceiling was actually sagging because these joists were cracked. There was a old cast iron bathtub right on top of that. And I assume the weight of that over time wore down those joists and cracked them. The furnace is brand new. It's not running throughout the house yet. And believe me, we will get rid of these wires. Not gonna get rid of them, or they're gonna go in the appropriate place. But the furnace has been turned on. It is functional already, but it's only served the purpose of not freezing the pipes downstairs in here. Um, and it's been successful with that. But yeah, that's in about two weeks, we're gonna have all the electric done. Furnace is gonna be ran through, all the ductwork's gonna be done. We're gonna have plumbing throughout the place. That's in about two weeks, we're gonna have and then, then the drywall starts. So we are moving, booming. This place should be up for sale in about six more weeks. That's what I'm hoping. That may seem ambitious, but doggone, I, I think it's more than realistic. Talk to you at last in the video, like what is in here? Uh, last time I was able to show you, it was nothing but a whole bunch of junk couldn't get inside. Well, let's... This is a, I don't know what you want to call it, a, a nook, a but there's stuff just loaded in there. We were looking around in there, poking our head back in there. Let's take a look inside of this thing. There was a broken window there. We took that down. And come in here. I don't know if you're going to find a scary or not, but I think it's an old coal chute. Might be a more proper term for that. If you know it, let me know in the comments below. But old coal chute, that's where the gas is coming in through. And go in this direction. We kind of use this as a bit of a storage right now. This is... I don't know what you call it. What, what would it be used for? No idea. Practical living in here, but definitely storage. 
in whatever. I, I don't know. Andy Bus probably would, would not really like it. But, but it is additional space to store some stuff. And there's plenty of spider webs, but that's that's a project for another day. There's an update about four months of work from what the original state of this place to now an abandoned home. I don't know, one to, so I hear everything between one year and three years that it was abandoned, and obviously homeowners didn't take very good care of it, but I think we are salvaging this place into a butte. It's going to be fantastic when it's all said and done. Every spank of things new. The only thing that's not new are like the joists, the studs, the trusses, and a lot of the subfloor. Other than that, everything's new. All brand new plumbing, new appliances, new uh, wiring. We took out, stripped out every bit of wiring, every bit of plumbing. That's all getting replaced. And this place is gonna be killer. It's gonna be killer when it's all said and done. I'll make another video when we get a little bit further along, probably right after the drywall. You won't even recognize anything from before. You're gonna look, watch the video, and be like, oh, this, this is a different house. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, I like comments. And I wouldn't mind, you know, what's that thing? Every YouTuber says it. What do they say? Um, they say, thank you for watching. No, that's not it. They say, I, I love you. No, they don't say that either. They say, I appreciate No, no, they, they say subscribe. That's what they say. That's what they all say. So this YouTuber's not going to tell you to subscribe.